another warm summer like day across the region and outside right now. It's still quite warm for the time of night and year. Matter of fact, the current temperatures are warmer than the average high for this time of year. So uh, yeah, the warm weather certainly continues. 87, the top temperature in town. Look at the average high, 77. Uh, 69 was the low. No rain again, but the rain chances will slowly start to increase in portions of the viewing area overnight and especially tomorrow. Better chances for everybody will come in this weekend, especially on Sunday. Outside right now, low 80s across the board. The humidity, 51% of South Breeze in here at about 10 miles an hour. Look at those high temperatures around the Ohio Valley. Wow, middle and upper 80s close to home. How about the 88? Coming in from uh, Bowling Green, 87 here, and you can see the 80s the farther north you go as well. A mixture of clouds and sunshine earlier. Now, look at the green on the map. A lot of that is not reaching the ground, but embedded within that area of green, there's a couple little splotches of showers, a few rumbles of thunder. A little thunderstorm has recently popped up south of Evansville. It just goes to show you that the atmosphere is becoming a little bit more unsettled. Uh, certainly nothing heavy or widespread, nothing severe in our area tonight. All of that is off to the north of us. Night number two, so to speak, of severe weather up here in the western lakes in the upper Midwest. Yet another tornado watch in effect for Wisconsin through northern portions of Illinois. All those yellow areas you see are severe thunderstorm warnings for the possibility of 60 to 70 mile an hour winds. Man, it's a rough night off to the north of us. Here's the future clouds and radar and notice what happens. Yeah, the showers that are off to the west will try to scoot off to the northeast, but they'll really weaken. Bottom line, it looks like the absolute greatest chance for a few isolated showers or rumbles of thunder will be on the Indiana side of the Ohio River and then out near sections of Evansville. Aside from that, I think the metro and points southward, especially, especially south of Louisville, will stay dry overnight tonight. Upper 60s and low 70s, a very warm May night on the way. And again, a little bit of green tomorrow morning, much of that off to the north of Louisville. Just goes to show you it's going to be warm again. It's going to be breezy, and we will pick up that chance for an isolated shower, rumble of thunder, plenty of dry time, and warm temperatures again as we climb back into the low and middle 80s by late tomorrow, expecting 84 in the metro. Here's the forecast in detail. Overnight, 70s out there, some passing clouds. Again, tomorrow morning, there could be a few isolated showers or rumbles of thunder. Greatest chance, just off to the north of Louisville. We start out at 72. We're 80 by lunch hour, going to 84 for an afternoon high. And with a little bit more moisture around Frederick, there will be that chance for an isolated shower or storm. Uh, continued chances for a few rumbles of thunder Friday and again through the weekend. I think the weekend chances come Saturday night into Sunday.